Everybody be aware I'm Stefan Krakauer, councilman for the fifth ward has joined us at this time. Um, tonight's agenda, number one will be a discussion for AP packaging. Number two is a notification of historic landmark designations, 5, 15, 19 Conklin in the Conklin Street Barn and Smokehouse. Three, a resolution, town police department accreditation. Four, an appointment of Justin Dixon as a police officer. Five, joint missile cooperative agreement, tactical medical support team. Six, city B patrol agreement with the county and surrounding areas. Seven, stop DWI agreement with the county drug recognition officer. Eight, authorize a stop DWI agreement with the county DWI checkpoints. Nine, a letter agreement with random production film in the town of Poughkeepsie. Ten, donation to the police department from Deborah Sean. 11, donation to the town senior from Robert and Teresa Nicoletti in memory of Catherine Parada. 12, point of recreation director, Janet. Can you have the earphones, Kim? Can Thir everybody yeah. please mute the themselves? Over. 13, proclamation of professional sorry. municipal clerk's week. 14, authorized McGrath and Company for appraisal services. 15, authorized the supervisor signed stormwater documents and sidewalk maintenance agreement for Anthony Rose Associates. 16, Said date for public hearing on towing law, 17, waive the liquor license for Pizzeria Posto, 45 East Hill Avenue, Chipotle, 3532 North Road, reappoint Board of Ethics, Lisa Stevens and Judith Clementi, 19, appoint Deputy Clerk Jessica Morn, 20, accept the 2021 Town Board Minutes. And we have two special consents tonight. Accept the resignation of Brian Bellino, recreation leader, SC2. Set a date for public hearing, town code amended chapter 210 relating to Hudson River um, Development District. Um, with that, I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for any item on the agenda. So second. Second, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody like to discuss any item on the agenda? Jim Beretta. Go ahead, Jim. Okay, uh, good evening. Um, so the AP pack. We lost you, Jim. Can't hear you. Jim, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Not yet. No. Not quite sure what happened. I can hear you. How about now? Yep, yeah, there, there you go. go. All right. Um, all right. The AP packaging project. I'd like to voice my opposition for any pilot for that project. Um, I suspect that that's what you're going to be talking about. Um, I was at the IDA meeting when this project came up. Um, I've been at every IDA and LDC meeting for over a year now to see how that operation works. Um, I, I was there when this project was presented. I don't have anything in particular against the project. I just am, am, am very opposed to all these pilots that are being given out and all these uh, 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 tax abatements because ultimately they are burdensome on the taxpayers. And, uh, you know, pilots, you know, let's go back to what pilots were for. Pilots were for entities that were that, that are tax exempt for them to pay extra to help to offset the burden that they might cause or create this whole thing has gotten turned on its head now where it's just a uh discount you know for people coming in and you know like if any one of us goes into a retail store and we know they're giving 10 percent off if you ask for it you're going to ask for it um the ida at the last meeting the chairman, Tim Dean, said that they are considering uh, uh, engaging with a third party to do analysis on projects because for a while they've been uncomfortable with being able to do a thorough analysis on the projects that are coming before them. So what does that say with for everything that's gotten tax, you know, tax reductions so far? And basically between the towns and the IDA, this is like what I would call a Hollywood story, which I won't uh, explain what that is if you don't know what it is, but 
basically, it's pretty much no skin off the IDA's nose to give a preliminary approval, okay, for, you know, tax abatements. And then it goes to the town, you know, for the pilot. And so, you know, the town now is feeling like, oh, well, the IDA gave a preliminary approval. Let me tell you, not a whole heck of a lot goes into that from what I could see. Okay, so now you give it pilot approval. And I can tell you, when it goes back to the IDA, once they have that documentation, that resolution that the town has given a pilot approval, they are off the hook. You know, they use, that's the first thing they talk about, is that the town approved it. And they are off the hook, and they just give approval for the rest of the stuff. I know this isn't town of Poughkeepsie, but the same thing just happened in the uh, town of East Fishkill for Amazon. Amazon is a $1.7 trillion corporation, and they got tax breaks. So, you know, the whole thing has just been turned on its head. It's abusive to taxpayers, and I'm opposed to, you know, to, uh, you know, to a pilot, you know, for this business. And, you know, let me also say that uh, when, they were, when the IDA was discussing this, you know, some of their comments are just not rooted in reality. They, um, Chairman Tim, and I'm going I'm to wrap up after this. Chairman Tim Dean said that this company, you know, could probably take advantage of unskilled labor, okay? And that, um, you know, that the city of Poughkeepsie would likely be able to fill some of that, you know, unskilled labor because they have people that are unskilled. Well, by the end of the IDA meeting, because Eastdale was in there too for their request for tax abatements, one of the board members says, oh, it's really, you know, kind of, uh, you know, apropos that we have these two projects that people can live and work in the same area. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, you just said you're going to hire unskilled labor from the city of Poughkeepsie. You think they can afford the rents over at Eastdale or go over to Posto and buy a personal pizza for $18 or whatever they go for or buy lattes from Crafted Cup? I mean, they're all good businesses, and I think that those businesses over at Eastdale will, will find their market, but they're not going to come from the manufacturing people at AP Packaging. So it, it's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's just not rooted in reality. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Doreen? Doreen, did you have your hand raised? No. Okay. Oh, I thought I was unmuted. Sorry. Um, I have a question on agenda item number 14 about the appraisal services. So are those services for a town property that's to be sold or is it for a town property that is to be bought? To be bought. To be bought. Okay. Would it, um, is it have anything to do with the uh, consolidation? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Don't, no. All right. Thanks. Didn't mean to be so um, short. The, the next, uh, I, I also have uh, uh, comments on agenda item number one. I'm also against the granting of, of any uh, of pilots because, as I've said before, you have the uh, pilots, you have the mortgage tax exemption, you have the sales tax exemption. And basically what you're doing is shifting the tax burden from uh, one, one property owner to the other property owners in the town and basically it leads to higher tax bills for everyone else. But uh, aside from that, um, the materials for, uh, for discussion were not posted on the town's website, but I did bring that to Jay's attention and he did get me the um, information that he had, so I appreciate that. But based on that information, um, I don't see how you can do anything other than have a discussion tonight I read through all of those or seven or eight files and the inconsistencies in those um, records, I, I don't know how you can, um, how you can make, make any decision. And you know, they talk, they, they want a sales tax exemption of over $150,000, a mortgage recording tax exemption of 81,000, over 81,000. But yet when they, um, and they, part where it says you're supposed to um, fill out how much the tax abatement would be for the project, basically what property tax exemption, that, that's blank. So I don't know how you can make any decision without that. And also the pilot payments, 
are based on a $10 million assessed value, even though in two places it says the property value after the project completed is to be determined. So you don't know what the property value afterwards is. They also say they're going to be having 105 jobs. What they don't say is that those jobs right now are 69 of those jobs are coming from existing jobs in New Jersey. So the total new jobs really would only be 36. So it's not quite the number of jobs that they make it out to be. Also, it looks like the average salary for the production workers says it's going to be about $45,000. They'll get health benefits but no retirement benefits. They also say that there was no known, in one spot they say there was no known contamination or remediation on the site. Well, anybody who knows that site, that was Alpha Laval, and there was remediation for that site. And in another spot on the application, it does note that there was, it was formerly a hazardous waste site. It gives the number from the DEC remediation database, but it gave a wrong number. I mean, I can go on and on. I won't. But also it references a number of appendixes, and none of those were included. So you don't have the survey, the concept plan, the cultural resources map, and there was historic and archaeological concerns. There's wetlands on the site. There's endangered species. You know, it's in a floodplain. So bottom line is I think you need more information before you make any decision. Thank you. Thank you, Doreen. Is there anybody else? Anybody else, Felicia? Not that we can see. One more minute. Anybody else? No. Motion resumes. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Bill, may I make a comment? On the, on number one. On the agenda you wanted to move. I would like to move the permission of the board, item number four, the appointment of our new police officer up to number one up to this point now. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Go ahead, Jeff. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Justin L. Dixon to the position of full-time police officer under the provisions of civil service law at the starting yearly salary of $63,845.36, effective April 26, 2021, which appointment is subject to a probationary period of not less than 26, no more than 52 weeks per civil service law, and be it further resolved that the supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutch County Department of Human Resource in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. We have a motion. Motion second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Justin, welcome aboard. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
um, as a Poughkeepsie resident, that's something pretty exciting um, to see a manufacturing facility coming back to New York and coming uh, to Poughkeepsie, which is my hometown. Um, AP Packaging is a manufacturer of bubble wrap. And if anyone is like me um, and FedEx is coming to your house every day, we know that bubble wrap is certainly on the rise. Um, this company is owned by uh, two private owners, Ellie and Joel Green. Um, the company was opened in 2013 and it's an incredible growth opportunity for them um, to come to Poughkeepsie. They have, um, since 2013 in the last seven years, have had to move four times because their company um, has grown and they've seen great expansion. Um, they've had challenging times finding a building that's suitable for the logistics and the setup of their equipment and this building became available and is ideally suited for them. Um, we are before the planning board, um, which is currently reviewing some improvements that we're proposing on um, the east side of the building, so the side that faces Eastdale. Um, we have worked extensively with um, the town supervisor's office, the planning department, the building department, um, everyone has been phenomenal in working with us on trying to review this project. The project is um, classified as a type two action, meaning that no uh, seeker review is required. However, um, the planning department staff and myself went through all of the triggers um, just to ensure that there were no environmental issues on the site um, that would predicate an environmental review by the planning board and after going through all those triggers recognize that it is truly a type two action so we are proceeding with the planning board um, with the concurrent review of this application some of the improvements um, include the interior fit up um, of the center of the existing building and as tenants um, you know shift or move out of this building they're hoping to be able to do an interior expansion I think the first place would likely be when BOCES, which is predominantly in the green space, moves into their new space. Um, again, they'll start to grow uh, into those areas. Um, the real improvements on the site are improvements to Victory Lane. Um, there's some landscaping, uh, some improved uh, pavement and uh, channelization of truck access and new uh, garage door bays to uh, allow them to uh, man manage their logistics and their trucking. Some of the kind of the highlights of um, this whole project is they're purchasing the property for uh, $10 million. They're approximating their fit up at a million dollars. Um, they've already commenced the purchase of equipment um, specific for this building, which is a million dollar uh, piece of equipment. They're building, or sorry, bringing $2.8 million worth of equipment from New Jersey um, up to Poughkeepsie and they expect within the next one to two years to purchase another $3 million worth of equipment um, to continue their expansion. Um, with respect to staff, the um, prior representation was, was actually not correct. Um, the owner um, and some of the management uh, team will be relocating to Poughkeepsie. It is their expectation that predominantly all of the admin staff and all of the production staff will be new uh, jobs to be located in this area. With respect to the management, uh, they believe that potentially two people will relocate to Poughkeepsie. With admin, two people will potentially relocate to Poughkeepsie. And with production, five people may relocate to Poughkeepsie. Um, they're projecting their first year will be a total of 69 employees. And year two, um, they will expand up to 107 employees. And as many of you know, with the IDA, um, this is a highly regulated, highly audited um, number. And so we're being very conservative with our estimation on the um, labor increases, although we think that, that those numbers are going to be significantly more. The current assessed value of the property um, is 5.5 million. We have worked extensively with Jennifer Mund and the Town of Poughkeepsie Assessing Department to determine what they approximate the future assessed value some of the information that was previously referenced on the application to the IEDA has been provided um, and we're working on this in conjunction with the, um, again, the town, assess town assessing department and the Dutchess County IDA. Um, we are requesting a 15 year pilot with the um, Dutchess County IDA. And as many of you know, the mission of the Dutchess County IDA is to further economic development in Dutchess County by providing financial assistance to private entities through tax incentives. And um, this project really ideally fits um, within the textbook definition of what a, um, a incentive would look like, bringing a manufacturing facility from another state into New York, 
um, bringing that facility into Dutchess County, into Poughkeepsie, and with that bringing um, a significant increase in jobs and a significant investment in their, in their expansion. Because this is a 15 year pilot versus a 10 year pilot, we are communicating um, obviously with the Arlington Central School District and with the town of Poughkeepsie um, this evening. Um, we have provided um, this Excel spreadsheet uh, and this has been completed in conjunction with the Dutchess County IDA um, just to estimate what the uh, potential taxes would be without uh, the pilot, meaning the project would remain at a 5.5 assessed value in its current situation and with the um, project, which would result in a conservative estimate of an $8 million um, assessed value for the property. Uh, sorry, let me just go back to that real quick. I apologize. Um, currently, if you project out 15 years, the total town taxes, um, which would be paid, and this assumes a conservative 2% increase in the assessed value per year, does not include special districts. Um, would be $953,000. Um, with the project and with the increase in the assessed value for the transfer of ownership after 15 years, the total taxes to the town um, would be $1.1 million. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have um, and certainly can provide you with more information if there's additional information that you're looking for. We are um, in the process of communicating and working with the IDA. There is another public hearing that is scheduled for um, the IDA next week. And um, we are hoping to move forward with the town and with the school district and with the IDA on this exciting project. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Kelly, I haven't been able to read all the documents fully, but I'm sure I'll have some questions and I'll get back to you on them. Understood, thank you. Well, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, I'd like to not see this come on the agenda, table it, until such time as we see financial analyst, financial analysis that shows that they need the pilot to make the program work. I think that's the words that they're supposed to go. And I think they need to show it to us in a form uh, to the town board before. I know uh, I wouldn't vote for this at this point, and I want to make sure that there's an, a financial necessity. In other words, without the pilot, they can't come here. But I want to see it in numbers with documentation attached. And uh, that's where I'll be on this. If it comes up on the agenda, absent those financials, I would make a motion to table it until such time as we've got those financials. And any questions you specifically want? No, I, yeah. I want to make sure it's clear yeah how I feel about this. I would love to see another employer here. That makes sense. But we're talking about sales tax, mortgage tax, and the pilot on top of that. That's a significant break. And maybe they're coming here because of the break, and that would be fine. But I want to see the analysis that shows that they can't do it without the pilot. Okay, because one thing that's attractive about this too is that it's manufacturing and it's more jobs and also it's not going to cause an increase in the budgets. They won't be bringing, it's not residential, it's not like we're looking for more children and they're going to come into the school district. So it shouldn't have any impact on the school district. It shouldn't cause an increase in, in their budget. And for us, I, I don't think it's going to impact an increase on our budget. So therefore, we have one more person taking a slice of the pie. So you actually should be helping our residents because we'll have another commercial entity come in here, taking a slice out of the pie and hopefully lowering the taxes for the rest. Or at least keeping Kelly, the tax. Could you, Kelly, could you address the uh, issues and questions that uh, Doreen and Jim raised? Sure, um, sure. First was um, Jim had raised this analysis of the projects that the IDA is proposing. And that analysis is actually pertains to residential projects. So we all know that there's been a number of projects that are predominantly residential that are considered deviated just by the nature of the fact that they're residential that have come before the IDA and have received um, pilots. The IDA has now decided that because of the 
a volume of the residential projects, even commercial residential, meaning apartments. The IDA has retained a company um, that is doing this nationally, and they put together an analysis to determine whether or not these residential projects should qualify and whether or not there's an economic ben benefit to the community. With the commercial projects and with the manufacturing projects, that's not required, and it's not being completed for this particular project, primarily because this project fits perfectly as a textbook case. It's manufacturing and it's jobs, and it's coming from an entity that's out of the state. Um, Before you go, go on, mm -hmm. I, I do agree with that. The, the, I mean, this is drastic. Residential, I do think that I would need more analysis to understand okay. how they would do it. With manufacturing, I, I, it does seem to like it's, it would be textbook, I think. <laughs> Thank so. you. Thank you. The, the second item that was brought up had to do with unskilled labor. I think the comment was more particularly identified at whether or not those residents would be able to visit and live in Eastdale. Um, our average um, salary for admin is 55 to 60,000. For management is 100 to 110,000. And for the production workers is 45 to 49,000. Um, the benefits, currently the benefits are not provided um, to the staff. The uh, owners are working with the New York State Excelsior program to create uh, opportunities for labor force training and to create um, improved benefits that are consistent with New York. So they're working very um, closely with Sarah at the IDA with Linda at the New York State Excelsior program. Um, some of the inconsistencies with the application um, I understand what Doreen is mentioning. The application that we have to fill out from the IDA is very um, challenging once it prints out. It's a pre-filled form on the screen. And um, in fact, some boxes look like they're checked yes and some are really no. So it's a, it's a form that we have that we have to utilize. Um, the reference with, with respect to the documentation that was provided to the IDA, it was a complete application. It was accepted with an A. Um, by the IDA, it was reviewed by the IDA, um, and there was no additional information that they asked for. All of the information that they needed, and I believe the town needs, um, has been submitted, but we'll certainly, you know, provide you with any other information. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I do think in today's world, we have to be creative and figure out ways to we keep the jobs that we have and add jobs to our economy, because not, you can't really take anything for granted. The past year has shown us everything can change quickly and people's habits and where they live and what they do changes. So I, I do, I think it's a good mechanism. I agree with Bill that we gotta, we gotta completely understand the numbers each time we do these, but I, I, in manufacturing, it's hard to find that. So I, it seems like, seems like a very interesting project coming into our town, so. I, thank you for that. And, you know, for you and I who have worked on the fort, if you remember the shot Lithotech building, which we all wanted to see, you know, manufacturing stay here. And here we have an opportunity to attract this company here. I will tell you that New York State is very aggressively trying to attract this business here. They want them to come here. Um, I think just having manufacturing coming back to this area is a great start. Right, and and the, the salaries, I mean, some of the best people I know don't make six figures. So, you know, that we need, we do need jobs for people at every level and every, every salary level. So, you know, it does, it does seem like there's a pretty good range and it, it, and it provides, <clears throat> provides opportunity for people that are currently living here and maybe people that would look to relocate in some of the housing that's being built. So, and I, I, I do find it interesting. I, 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 I would like to see all the numbers and like said, like, like said. Stefan, can you stand closer to the mic? I have a hard time hearing. Right. You. I do. I do find it to be an interesting project, and I do. It does seem to fit what the IDA should be doing. It, you know, it, it it's kind of like I don't know. It seems right up the fairway, the center of the fairway. So. I I also I agree with Stefan. I think it's a good idea, but we have to live in the real world. We just lost Sears Sorcieri. That took four million dollars out of the tax base. We're going to get GC Penny. There are 83 closed stores on Route 9 between the cemetery and the creek. I want to see us grow. I want to see new employers. But they're going to have to show me that they can't do it without the pilot. They're going to get a 75 percent reduction in the first year on the pilot on their taxes, plus their mortgage tax, plus their sales tax. 
that is a great incentive to come here, and I'd love to have them here. But I want to see the actual numbers with the documents attached showing that they cannot do this project <coughs> without the pilot. If, if I could just provide one additional piece of information. Um, if the applicant was proceeding with the IDA with a 10-year pilot, um, we wouldn't be before you. So it's an, it, you know, it's ideally it's an as of right uh, under review by the IDA, but there's no requirement for us to come to the town, um, to the town or to the school district. The reason that we're before you is because this is considered a deviated pilot, which is they're asking for an additional five years. Um, and it's a slightly different arrangement on the percentages for the, um, the reduction for the taxes. Tell the difference that. in the last five years is approximately $100,000. So we're talking about, um, uh, you know, and, and I'm not in, it, uh, necess necessarily indicating that that's a small number, but I just wanted you to understand the magnitude of the difference between the 10-year pilot and the 15-year pilot with respect to the taxes that would be paid uh, to the town of Poughkeepsie. So it's about a $100,000 difference. Uh, Kelly, I, 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 maybe I misunderstood you. Did you say that if it was a 10-year project, you wouldn't have to come before the town board for a correct. pilot? Correct. That's correct. It's That's only correct done by the ADA? Yep. Well, then thank that is the, then you can thank the ADA because I don't want to see us facing the losses and decreasing taxpayers that we have in our town, allowing tax breaks when we don't absolutely have to. And for me to say I, we have to, I would want to see the financial work and the backup documentation. And, and we'll provide that to you. I think this is, um, sometimes I think it's a little bit upside down, but the um, project, if it proceeds, would actually result in an increase in the taxes to the town. And that's that was the, you know, the purpose of that Excel spreadsheet. Understand it's very small to see, and I'm happy to sit and go through that individually or collectively with the town board if you'd like. If I, I just want to, when I started in town government, I was kind of young, now I'm kind of old. <laughs> and 15 years when I started, I would have said, I, I don't, you know, 15 years, who cares? Because that's so far down the road. Now, things that we did 15 years ago and five years ago and 10 years ago have continued to pay off in, when, in how we operate, how we function as a government. So it's not that big of a window in the grand scheme of things if the company puts a lot of money into the community and has a, if they've moved multiple times and this is a place where they can come to grow and stay 15 years actually isn't that long anymore in my view like i said it used to be 15 years would have been wow that's that's so far down the road it, it, it it's it's kind of hard to see the benefit but it, the net gain in tax revenue makes it appealing the types of jobs makes it appealing and i i also think it it is what the IDA should be focusing much more than the residential because it's you know you, you we we have houses we need people we need places for people to work and that that's why i say I, I i agree with bill about each one of these comes through we should look at closely we should completely understand we should know the financials and be able to explain why we would support it but i like the idea of being creative and figuring out ways to make these companies land here versus some places that push people away. They push their current businesses away and also are not friendly to businesses coming through the door. So like I said, I, I, I completely agree with Councilman Carlos about wanting all the detail, but I like these things. This is this is kind of why I like to be involved at this point in my life, so. Thank you. Kelly, I got a, a few comments as we discussed you know, AP Packages has been in business, I think, just around 10 years. This is the fourth time they've moved. Every other location they've moved from has been a rental location. This is the first yeah. location where they're actually purchasing a location. They moved the other f three or four times because they had to get a bigger location. And as we all know, BOCES is leaving that location. Mm -hmm. So that will be an extra spot for them to move their offices to go forward and to clean up what is there. And the amount of money that they're going to be bringing in right now it's assessed at just over five million dollars and our assessor thinks once they purchase it they are purchasing for 10 million 
that their assessed value will be in the range of about $8 million. So as you look at the numbers on the spreadsheet, they look a little out of whack because, as Kelly said, it's one of the few times that it's going to be assessed for more than it is in the amount of money they're putting in. And as some of the other RDA projects have said, they're just above minimum wage. This is a little bit higher. They're a startup. They don't have a retirement yet. They are working on the medical end of it. And the employees yeah. that they're bringing here, even if they're bringing 20 employees, they're 20 employees with jobs. These aren't 20 employees that are moving to New York State to look for a job. These would be the 20 or 25 employees that are coming that would actually have a job when they got here and they'd be looking for a place to live in, an apartment to live in, or a, a home to live in in our town or in a town close by us. And the fact that we're bringing a manufacturing job, which you don't see, and I think Bill made the comment of Sears and a tax shirt and the price of Sears going down. We know the retail market has changed mm -hmm. to um, using the postal service, FedEx, UPS, Amazon, and all them. And we all know looking for a more of a stable environment. I think um, bubble wrap is something that if they told me they're going into Sears, I'd be happy to see them going into Sears because you're actually bringing something that we know for the next few years will be a stable operation. You never know how the market's going to change and where we go with the delivery world, but this is something that's up and coming and growing. And the fact that they're leaving Jersey to come to New York, I think is phenomenal. But as Bill said, and I think everybody else feels the same way, they all want to be comfortable, look at the numbers. The meeting's not for another week or so, so reach out to Kelly if you, anybody has any questions going forward where this is. And look at the, the project, look what it is. They're adding 12 bays. This is not a small operation. They're adding 12 um, bays to the operation out there. So it's going to be a pretty big operation. And there is no pollutants or anything. What they're bringing in, turning the bubble wrap, going out. It's not affecting our water system. We've looked at that because there is a, a wastewater system out there which dumps into the creek, which we are working with them also on trying to close that down totally and tying that into the East Dale Village in the near future, which was going on even before they were purchasing this. So we are working with them on that. And the fact that there's other companies in there to have an actual manufacturing company come on board, I think is um, something um, that's actually uh, beneficial to us. But we should all look at it. And if you have any questions, read over the IDA application and reach out to Kelly with any questions you have. Anybody have anything else? I, I just want to agree with what Bill was saying and the uh, other concerned taxpayers in regards to that pilot as well. They said because, you know, you still have, especially that area of the fire district, that most likely is going to take a hit. No, Jeff. And not get much, no. but you're still going to have service. Oh, she's going to have no? No, Jeff, no, fire districts, districts are not, are not affected. They're not yeah. going to be affected in this? No, so, no. Yeah. I just want to make sure because their services will still be required out there. But but I agree, like I said, to bring in business, just like they're doing down on the south end of the county at I Park, you know, it's good to see it, it grow around the, the area. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. Anybody else? Kelly, can you send me that PowerPoint if it's not already in the other documents that I didn't get a chance to look at? Yes, Thanks. I will send it to you as soon as um, we're finished here. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, number two on our agenda is a historic landmark designation of notification of 51519 Conklin Street in the Conklin Street barn and smokehouse. This will be sent over to Historic Preservation to review. Um, Bill? Number three. Whereas the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department applied to the New York State Department of Criminal Justice Services Law Enforcement Accreditation Program and first became an accredited agency in 2011. And whereas on January 21st, 2021, Deputy Commissioner Daniel Hickey, now retired, on behalf of the New York State Law Enforcement Accreditation Council, conducted an in-depth reaccreditation review of many of the department's files engaged in on-site observations and conducted interviews with department personnel. And whereas, in retired Deputy Commissioner Hickey's recommendation, he gave high regards to the police, to the department, members he interacted with, including the department accreditation manager, Lieutenant Ralph Cropley. And his overall assessment was the department had done an excellent job in its effort to maintain and implement accreditation standards during the five years since the department's last accreditation. And whereas on March 4th, 2021, the New York State Law Enforcement Accreditation Council met and again awarded the accreditation to the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department, said accreditation being effective until March 4th, 
2026. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie congratulates and expresses its gratitude to the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department and each of its members and staff for making the receipt of such a high reaccreditation accolades possible. So moved. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? Chief, uh, Captain, uh, it's uh, very hard to get accreditation, and you guys have done a really good job. I agree. What? I mean, along with Mike just said, simple and easy. It was a great job you did. But not only that, what the accreditation standards are that make them stay up to today's standards. So we had to go through um, our whole reorganization agreement that we had to do with whoever, I don't care, I think what we're going to call it there. Um, we had a lot of what they needed. So we didn't have to make a lot of changes. We are changed on almost like a weekly basis with programs and different policies and things. We're always looking them over. And Detective Cropley there, Lieutenant Ralph Cropley, sorry, Detective, um, has done a great job moving forward with this and keeping us on top of where we are. I mean, without this, this is what keeps us out of trouble. When we got these standards and we are following all the policies and procedures that we're supposed to be following, and we are updating them as things go wrong on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what makes the department what it is today. And I want to thank them for doing it. Again, sorry for stumbling over my words here. Anybody else? Nope, good job, guys. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Whereas the Town of Poughkeepsie Police Department maintains a special weapons and tactic team uh, whose members are trained to effectively respond to critical incidents, and whereas the Arlington Fire District and the Fairview Fire District have determined to establish tactical medical support teams to coordinate and improve the delivery of EMS and medical support during town SWAT team responses. And whereas the Arlington Fire and, and the Fairview Fire Districts, Chief Faber and Captain Cavallaria proposed for the adoption of a joint municipal MST cooperative agreement to enhance the safety of all who are involved during these responses, and whereas execution of the proposed cooperative agreement represents the ongoing administration of the affairs of the town of Poughkeepsie Police Department with no new programs or policies which might affect the environment, for which no secret review is required. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the supervisor is designated, including the chief of police, police is authorized to execute the MST cooperative agreement and all other related documents to substantially the form annexed with such modifications as may be acceptable to the supervisor, the chief of police, the attorney to the town. So moved. Second. Second. Got a motion second. Any questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to execute an agreement with the county of Dutchess regarding the town police department's participation in the Dutchess County Crisis Intervention Team training and the establishment of a county town police behavioral evaluation and assessment team program, BEAT, hmm. all as part of our an ongoing effort to better assist those with mental health and sub substance abuse abuse issues and substantially the form next and be it further resolved the execution of said agreement is part of the ongoing administration of the town's town's affairs requiring no secret review so moved second got a motion second any questions or comments on this this is just a program that we started a couple years ago and we've had some success with it and the city of Poughkeepsie also has it and it's through the county so being with all the mental health issues that we've discussed with the police department it seems to be quite a few calls. I think this is definitely something beneficial to the town to have available to us. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes 6-0. Be it resolved, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor's execution of a 2021 stop DWI drug recognition expert extension and amendment agreement with Dutchess County, a copy of which is attached. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be it resolved, the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor to sign a 2021 Stop DWI Program Amendment and Extension Agreement DWI checkpoints with the County of Dutchess, a copy of which is attached. So moved. Second. second. We've got a motion and a second. Any questions on that one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize the supervisor or his designee to execute an agreement allowing Random Productions LLC to conduct movie productions 
at 109 Ridgeview Road and 39 Round Hill Road in the town of Poughkeepsie from March 24, 2021 through September 24, 2021 at various dates to be specified to and subject to the consent, consent of the town supervisor and is hereby authorized the town of Poughkeepsie Police Department subject to its standard policies, procedures, and charges to provide traffic control assistance and further subject to random productions conducting all activities consistent with state, local, and federal laws, rules, and regulations, receiving all required building and other permits and property owner consent as well as agreeing to indemnify, defend, and hold town and its officers and employees harmless and providing to the town acceptable proof of workers' compensation insurance, automobile insurance, and general liability insurance, naming the town of Poughkeepsie as an additional insured. So moved. Second. second. We have a motion second. Any questions on that one? I just, um, Jim, you mentioned that there, you're working on a, a thing for the code for filming, correct? Yes. Because right. I think it's going to be happening a lot more, so that's a great idea. Yeah, actually, Sarah has um, pulled together a lot of samples, and so I have a bunch in my office too that I gathered a few years ago. Short. It'll but be shortly. Yeah, good. Yeah, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes six zero. Resolution number ten: Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby accept, with appreciation. A donation of $156 from Miss Deborah Sean. I hope I said that right. And be it further resolved that such said donation, which is made to our police department in appreciation of its responsiveness, will be used to offset police department needs. So moved. Second. Second. Take a motion. And a second. Any questions or comments? Just a thank you to Mrs. Sean and appreciation of her reaching out and thanking our police department. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Be resolved, Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby accepted appreciation of donation of $20 from Robert and Teresa Nicoletti. And be a further resolved, said donation was made to our Recreation Department will be used to offset senior center needs. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes 6 0. And that's in memory of um, Kathy Parada who passed away earlier this year. Be it resolved, the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby appoint Janet McHugh as Recreation Director under provi the provisions of civil service law dealing with the resignation reinstatement effective April 19, 2021 and a salary of 63000 per year. And be it further resolved that the Supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any questions? Uh, no questions. I'd just like to welcome Janet aboard. She's uh, got quite a resume. I'm really, really, really looking forward to joining the town and working with her. I agree and second that. And Janet's here. Um, thank you for coming tonight and listening. Thank you for going through the interview process with the town board members. All thank you. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Welcome aboard, Janet. Whereas the Office of Professional Municipal Clerk is a time-honored and vital part of local government exists throughout the world, and whereas the Office of Professional Municipal Clerk is the oldest among public servants, and whereas the Office of Professional Municipal Clerk provides the professional link between the citizens, the local governing bodies, and the agencies of government at other levels, and whereas the Professional Municipal Clerk have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, rendering equal service to all, whereas the professional municipal clerk serves as the information center on local government and community functions, whereas the professional municipal clerk's continuality strive to pr improve the administration of the affairs of the office of the professional municipal clerk through participation in educational programs, seminars, workshops, and annual meetings of their state, provincial, county, and international professional organizations. Therefore, it is most appropriate that we recognize the accomplishments of the Office of the Professional Municipal Clerk. Now, therefore, be it resolved that John J. Baisley, Supervisor of the Town of Poughkeepsie, does recognize the week of May 2nd through May 8th as the Professional Municipal Clerk's Week and further extends appreciation to our Professional Municipal Clerk 
Felicia Salvador, RMC, and all the professional municipal clerks for their vital services they perform and their exemplary dedication to the communities they represent. So moved. Second. We got a motion and second. Any questions? Gee, they only have one more day left to enjoy it. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> May. No, this is May. May, May, 2nd. 2nd. May 2nd. Oh, she's good. Not, not April. She's not there yet. Oh, this no. is not the week, there this yet. Is the week nobody's taken off, right? Um, <laughs> we're actually going to Hawaii no more. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that it's something um, that the Fishkill town clerk, you know, we're, we got all together and there's going to be some posters and stuff throughout town hall and it's just, um, you know, and, and the, the one sentence there that really hit me this time around is the to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, because I've made the decision this year to um, to um, resign from the political committee that I was on, and so I'm going to remain. You know, that I feel that that's the neutral thing to do, and so I just like to make that announcement that, regardless of what party I am, that's just the decision that I made. Sure. Just thought I'd throw that out there because. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion passes 6-0. Thank everybody in your office that's um, oh, yeah. part I of mean, that team. Excuse me. <laughs> and nobody's as good as the people that they have working for them. And Kim's, Kim's <laughs> absolutely wonderful. And we're hoping that Jess will be the same, as long as you guys vote her in. <laughs> be resolved, the Town Board of Town Poughkeepsie is hereby authorized a supervisor or is designated to retain McGrath and Company, Inc. to provide appraisal services relating to real property located in the Town of Poughkeepsie at a cost not to exceed $3,600, so moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved that the Town Board of Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby authorize a supervisor to sign a stormwater management facility inspection and maintenance agreement, a stormwater management facility inspection and maintenance easement, and a sidewalk maintenance agreement in any support and recorded documents in regards to the Mazda Route 9 project, AKA Anthony Road Associates LLC, and substantially to form attached, and be a further resolve that such acceptance and authorization by the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie is subject to the approval of all final documents by the Town Attorney, Planning Board Attorney, Town Engineer, and the Director of Municipal Development for the Town of Poughkeepsie. So moved. Second. We have a motion, second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes 6 0. Resolution number 16. Be it resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Poughkeepsie does hereby set the 21st day of April 2021 at 7 p.m. at the Town Hall, Town of Poughkeepsie, 1 over Rocker Road, Poughkeepsie, as the time and date and place of a public hearing to amend the Town Code by local law to add Chapter 199 entitled Towing, and be it further resolved that the proposed amendments are attached hereto as Exhibit A and incorporated herein. And the Town Board does hereby waive a verbatim reading of said amendments and does direct that said amendments be spread across the record as if they, in fact, had been read verbatim. Be it further resolved that after reviewing the proposed local law and annexed environmental assessment form at Exhibit B with parcel access map annexed, this board determines that the adoption of this local law is an unlisted action under SICA, and there are no other involved agencies that will therefore conduct an uncoordinated SICA review of this law, and be it further resolved that said local law, if adopted, shall take effect 90 days after filing with the Secretary of State. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any questions on this one? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6-0. Be resolved the Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby acknowledged with receipt a request on behalf of Pizzeria Pasto, 45 East Dale Avenue, Poughkeepsie, New York, for a waiver of the 30 day review period for a liquor license application. And be it further resolved that the Town Board Town of Poughkeepsie is hereby approve the clerk's forwarding of a waiver and consent pursuant to the attached request. So moved. Second. A motion a second. Any questions? All those in favor? Yeah, I just, I just like to say I, I believe this is a company that has a restaurant up in Rhinebeck and they're fantastic. It's going to save me some driving time. So this is this the brick oven pizza? Right, Stefan? What? This is the brick oven pizza? Yeah, and I believe it's a, I believe he grew up locally, the owner. It is I'm really good. Sure I'm pretty sure he was originally kind of Poughkeepsie or, or definitely from our area. He so. is local. 
Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes 6 0. Be it resolved, the town board of the town of Kipsey does hereby acknowledge receipt of request on behalf of Chipotle Mexican Grill of Colorado LLC, 3532 North Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, for a waiver of the 30 day review period for a liquor license application. And be it further resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby approve the town clerk's forwarding of a waiver and consent pursuant to the attached request. So moved. Second. Got a motion, second. Any questions on that one? This will save me driving from Fishkill or Kingston. <laughs> it's all working out for us. <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes 6 0. Be resolved, the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby reappoint Lisa Stevens to the Board of Ethics to, to the which expires on February 28th, 2025, and reappoint Judith Clemente to a term which expires on February 28th, 2024. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions on these? Uh, I can't speak for uh, Lisa, but I can tell you Judith Clemente really enjoys her time on this board. Yes. And Lisa is also a, currently the chair of the board yeah. and does okay. a phenomenal job. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Be it resolved, the town board of town of Poughkeepsie does hereby recognize the town clerk's appointment of Jessica Morin as a full time deputy clerk and does authorize the hourly pay of $20.60 per said clerk. Effective April 12, 2021, be it further resolved, the supervisor is authorized to execute and file all documentation required by the Dutchess County Department of Human Resources in connection with this appointment. So moved. Second. Second. Is there a motion second? Any questions? Jessica is here tonight with our town clerk. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now you can say congratulations. Opposed? <laughs> motion passes 6 0. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I bet she's glad Bill didn't read it at two dollars an hour. <laughs> What's that? I said I bet she's glad Bill didn't read that at two dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beers is all that the town board of town of Kipsy does hereby accept the minutes for the following 2020 and 2021 town board meetings to wit. December 2nd, 2020, regular town board meeting. December 16th, 2020, committee of the whole, regular town board meeting. January 6th, 2021. Regular town board meeting, January 27th, 2021, committee of the whole, regular town board meeting, February 3rd, 2021, regular town board meeting, February 17th, 2021, regular town board meeting, March 3rd, 2021, regular town board meeting, and March 17th, 2021, regular town board meeting, town board meeting. sorry, so moved. Second. We got a motion and a second, any questions? I just wanna say, um, usually the summary is up, shortly thereafter meeting with all of you know the whole packet and everything if anybody's looking for that okay. not quite sure we're getting a new website soon and that should be within the next couple of weeks yep. so everybody will just be looking in a different spot for things but everybody will get used to it yeah, well, hopefully it'll go along a lot smoother all those in favor aye aye, aye. opposed motion passes six zero resolution number 21 be it resolved that the town board of the town of Poughkeepsie does hereby grant special consent to the following items to wit. One, accept resignation from Brian Bellino, recreation leader. Two, set date for public hearing, town code amendment 210 relating to the HRDD district. And be it further resolved that upon the objection of any member of the town board, the item may be removed from the list and voted on separately. So moved. Second. 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 Got a motion and a second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Be it resolved, Town Board, Town of Poughkeepsie does accept with regret the resignation of Brian Bellino, Recreation Leader with the Town of Poughkeepsie Recreation Department, effective April 1st, 2021. So moved. Second. We got a motion and a second. Any questions? Uh, just wish Brian well with all his future endeavors. Agreed. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 6 0. Stefan, do you have it? If not, um, I'll read it. Yeah, I got it. All right. Whereas the town board has, whereas the town board has received a communication from the planning department recommending amendments to Chapter 210 entitled "Zoning" to add Section 210-125.2 entitled "Signs Permitted in the HRDD District" and to amend Section 210-9 and Section 210-1.5. 
131F, and whereas the proposed amendments are next here too, as Exhibit A and incorporated in herein as if recited verbatim with the words underlined to be added and those words stricken to be deleted, and the town board does direct that said amendments be spread across the record as if they in fact had been read verbatim, and whereas this action to amend the zoning law is a type one action under the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act and an environmental assessment form EAF is attached, and whereas the town board has determined that the proposed amendment must be referred to the Dutchess County Department of Planning and Economic Development and the Town Planning Board for review and recommendation. And whereas the amendment requires a public hearing, now therefore be it resolved that the town board hereby states that because only the town board can consider and adopt changes to the town code that is the only involved agency, agency and the board hereby declares that it is the lead agency for purposes of coordinating the environmental review of this matter pursuant to Article 8 of the Environmental <coughs> Conservation Law and to the town board hereby sets a public hearing on the proposed amendments from May 5th, 2021 at 7 p.m. or soon thereafter as the matter may come, be, come to be heard in the town hall, one over Rocker, Rocker Road, Kipsey, New York, and three, the town board refers the matter to the Dutchess County Department of Planning and Economic Development for recommendation pursuant to GML 239-M, and four, the town board refers this matter to the planning board for an advisory report pursuant to town code sections 210-154 and five, the town board directs the town clerk to notify the town clerks of each of the surrounding municipalities of the public hearing pursuant to GML 239-N, so moved. Second, we have a motion and a second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion passes 6-0. That brings us to the end of our agenda. I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules for any other. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Is there anybody that would like to discuss any item at all? Jim. Jim Barretta. Go, go ahead, Jim. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's the, um, no, I can't hear you, Jim. I can't hear you. Sounds like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> D2, are you there? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're very muffled, Jim. Yeah, no, it's not coming over. That's Jim. You're muted now. Maybe try and unmute and see if that works. Can you? Can you still show unmuted. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, you're unmuted, Jim. No. Hello? I don't know what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, Wait, Jim. Jim, it sounded like you were there for a second. Try, Jim. No. <laughs> no. Okay. We have Doreen was in there. Doreen, you want to go ahead? We'll try um, Jim after you. We'll give sure. you another shot, Jim. Um, okay. I just wanted to point out that the numbers that I had um, quoted to you earlier that were um, disputed by Kelly Libel came from page 19 of the application. And that was the uh, regarding the uh, number of jobs, uh, the salaries, and whether or not benefits were going to be provided. So if you look at page 19 of the application, you'll see that's where I got my numbers from. And, uh, and also the fact about the uh, retirement and health benefits. And I'd also like to say that, you know, uh, that Kelly Leibold is a cons uh, consultant, obviously, for the project. And while she says she's excited as a town resident uh, for these projects to come, I'd like to point out that she is, um, I mean, this is her occupation. She's working as a consultant for them. And she also, at the IDA meeting, said that she owns a uh, company that uh, sells construction materials. So again, I'm speaking on behalf of, I feel, of the average uh, taxpayer. And, and again, I mean, these may be great projects, but the, the tax breaks, and like uh, Councilman Carlos pointed out, you have Sears, uh, potentially uh, pennies. There's a lot of other retail businesses that I can see coming forward asking for a reduction in their taxes. And the remainder of the uh, taxpayers in the town 
are going to be uh, picking that up. So, I mean, I don't know. I know the American Rescue Plan gave the town money, not as much as the city got, uh, but I don't know how long that's going to carry you. So, again, you know, I'm in favor of that company uh, relocating here. I just think they should pay their fair share of taxes. Oh, and the other thing I want to say is that um, I'd like to thank Felicia because um, she does a great job filling FOIL requests uh, for me quickly. A lot of times the, the date that she gives me, um, she, she uh, beats that date. So, um, and, and I, you know, I consistently file FOILs and, and I'd like to thank her for uh, providing information in a timely manner. So, thank you're, you. You're welcome. Thanks, Doreen. I think. No, Jim, you want to try again? Jim? Can you hear me? Yeah, now yeah. we do. Oh, great. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, a couple things. So, um, I made a comment earlier about, you know, that. Uh, that Jim, the, do you have a phone or something on? Jim, do you have another phone on as well? Or? Yeah, you got a horrible feedback. Not really? Or, or from your computer, you have a headset on. Jeez. A lot of times. now? Yeah. A little better. Yeah, very tinny. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, now we lost. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we're sorry we said anything. Doreen, you want to help him out? <laughs> yeah. I think he's going to use Doreen's yeah, computer. He's going to run over. Do <laughs> she's let him back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, this is Jim. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Work that out for next time. Anyway, all right, so I had made the comment about the IDA uh, member, you know, the, you know, talking about it, how they had both projects. You know, they had the Eastdale project, which, by the way, if you don't know what Eastdale is, is doing an expansion. Well, in fact, Supervisor Baisley, you were on the call that day. You know because you spoke about it. Uh, they're doing an expansion. They're asking for more tax breaks. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the one IDA member was saying it was great, you know, that we have this business coming in because people can work and, uh, you know, live in the same place. And my comment was, I don't think anybody working over there in a the manufacturing job is going to be living in Eastdale. So th that, that was my point. What came, what came out in the conversation before was the salaries. I know uh, Councilman Krakauer said not everybody makes a six-figure salary. I agree. I mean, I come from a working uh, blue-collar family. I know what salaries are like. My point was is that the comment that was made in the IDA was unrealistic. Um, the other thing is uh, uh, Ms. Leibold, um, you know, was, she, she, she also has another project, you know, that's, that's before the IDA right now, it's uh, Fox Run. And, uh, you know, for both of these projects, for this, this pro and she said it tonight too, you know, I'm excited as a resident. So she gets in front of the IDA and she says, you know, she, she's, she's, you know, she's an agent for these projects. And she gets in front of the IDA and says, as, as a town of Poughkeepsie resident, you know, I'm excited to, you know, to have these projects here. Well, okay, maybe she is, but that's an unfair advantage to get in front of the board and speak as a resident when nobody, with the IDA board, when nobody else has an opportunity to speak other, other than at the hearing. And, you know, she, she is getting paid to do both of these projects. And in and, and the Fox Run project, she was asked in, in, the, in the IDA what the rents were going to be over there. And, she, and, and that project has not figured out the rents yet because uh, they, they, are, they feel in our finding that the rents in the area are probably maxing out. So, um, so anyway, so, so we have all these residential projects going on. Eastdale's got a ton of tax breaks. And now all of a sudden the IDA feels uncomfortable that they, you know, that, that they can't analyze the data, you know, that they got to hire this third party. Um, which brings me to uh, Councilman Carlos's point about, you know, getting, you know, the board getting the numbers in front of you for this project. That slide that Ms. Leibold put up there, nobody, you guys can't sit there and look at that slide and analyze that thing in the, you know, the minute that it's up there or even see the numbers because it's small. And the conversation is always about, well, this is how much you're getting, but the conversation is never about, you know, how much you're not getting, how much you could get if you weren't giving all these tax breaks. And I mean, the only time you would get to zero is if they walk away. And I don't know that it, I, I have not seen a project yet where anybody's tested any one of these applicants to see if they would walk away. 
Um, and the only other thing is uh, uh, Councilman Renahan brought up about the fire districts. Uh, it, it is true that uh, special districts now are, are excluded from these, and uh, they should have probably been way back when, when a lot of these pilots went in and did pull in the fire districts. Like I know one for sure, I can't remember all of them, but one for sure with, for the Arlington Fire District was Neptune Plaza. Uh, it was a, a very aggressive pilot, and in the first, or first and second year, it goes for like 20, 25 years. In the first few years, they only paid about the amount that a, like a like an average residential house would pay. So there was a problem in that too. That back then, they really should not have been pulling in the fire districts, but they did, and the fire districts are still suffering the effects and will for 25 years. Uh, you know, for those pilots that got in there, I think what, what I think when it changed is when Sarah Lee became the CEO of the IDA, the Dutchess County IDA. Uh, you know, between that and you know, uh, maybe with Ron Hicks as well. You know, they figured out that the special districts are not even supposed to be in there. So I'll just wrap this up. I mean, my point is, is that you know, you, you've already given away all these tax breaks. And, and yet now we find out, oh, special districts shouldn't be in there. Oh, you know, there's too much data here. The IDA can't analyze it. So, you know, that's, that's all water under the bridge. Taxpayers are paying for all this stuff. So, all right, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thanks, Jim. If I, I just want to say, say quick, I appreciate what you, do, you and Doreen do and the input that you give and holding us accountable and the applicants that come in front of the town, the IDA accountable. I think it's very important that we look closely at all these things because when we're trying to be fair to somebody coming in, we may be unfair to people that are already here. And I think it, it is critical that we look at the real numbers and understand them as a board and as a town. So you, you and Doreen, you chime in on a lot of things. We don't always have to agree, but I, I will always I always appreciate the fact that you guys take a lot of time to look at this stuff. And that's why I asked the applicant to answer the questions that you guys asked, because I, I think it's important that you get the answers, we get the answers. And I, I for whatever reason, I, 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 I've been sort of gone from this for five years. I didn't realize how many residential projects were coming through and getting pilot agreements through the IDA, which I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around. And that's why I don't think each one coming through should just get a quick nod. Yes, I do think we got to take time, think it through, discuss it, analyze it, and be critical as to why why we want that here, why that makes a difference and, and whether it has to be a, a, a pilot agreement to make this work. Um, it shouldn't just be that the town is giving up money because somebody asks us and, and so, I think each time through, not that we want to put everybody through the ringer, but we want to be very thorough in what we're doing here. And at the end of the day, it does have to be fair to everybody living here and coming into here. So again, I just thank you guys for the, the fact that you call our attention to things that sometimes we, we may or may not see because this, this stuff to me is important. So. All right. Well, uh, yeah, thank you for that. And I, you know, I understand where you're coming from. And, you know, uh, just in terms of the numbers of things coming through uh, next, uh, next Monday and Tuesday, there's, there's two hearings on Monday, two, he these are IDA hearings, two on Monday, two on Tuesday. There's four projects probably on, on Wednesday going to get uh, be put up for, for final approval in, in the IDA and three of them are in the town of Poughkeepsie. It's, it's uh, AP packaging. Uh, Fox Run and uh, the Eastdale expansion and the Eastdale, uh, not just an expansion, but they're also asking for an increase in the tax breaks. Uh, Joe Kirchhoff was in there talking about the increase in construction costs, and so they're asking for more off the taxes. So, I mean, it's just, it, it just doesn't end. All right, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Stefan. Anybody else? M motion to resume? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn. Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Town board adjourns at 8.15. Oh, we have to have public comment? We just did. Is there anybody That's else? Good. That's what we just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, just want to welcome um, Tom Myring as we're closing here. Tom, um, what did you do? Finally get internet service up north there? <laughs> <laughs> Tom hey, is our retired recreation hey, Tom. director. Hi, Tom. Tom, you there? Hey, Tom. Maybe so. Maybe it's not.
Okay. Everybody have a great night. We adjourn at 8.15 p.m. Good night. Good night.